Hi, welcome to You Old and Retro. My name is Vincent, and welcome to another video. And today it's going to be a very quick video. Uh, what I'm going to show you is, I think it's been shown before on another video uh, by someone else. Um, but basically, um, after my unboxing of XT3, um, I noticed that inside the, the, the strap holding elements of this camera is but sort of two bits of uh, basically a ring of metal um so that when you did use um a standard carry strap d ring or the triangular one bits that came with the camera uh when they rubbed against the section that they were sort of semi protected in itself is it i think it's a bit of spring metal basically uh and then what I realised that if you were using, say, the Peak Design System, which uses um, a bit of cord, I did notice that even with my finger, that the bit of metal sort of stuck out. Uh, it wasn't super sharp, but um, I heard that uh, s some of the cords that people had 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 snapped or worn through at this point very quickly, and that's probably because of the extra bits of metal. Uh, and then what I found was you could probably just remove it it looked like it could be pushed out quite easily um, uh, and I wanted to sort of demonstrate the easiest way uh, to get it out without uh, damaging the camera at all uh, and obviously this this is what my result is that I got two did two bits of ring of metal uh, I'm not sure you can see this very clearly it's like a collar uh, that's open at one end that sort of interlocks uh, Obviously, I'll, I'll keep these back in my box uh, so that if I ever get rid of the camera or sell the camera on, uh, it's I'm gonna just push them back in, and it's quite easy to do so. Uh, it's no damage to the camera at all. Now, to do this, uh, what I used was uh, I had a multi-set screwdriver like this. Uh, at first, I was thinking of using maybe the pointy ends or something like that, um, which is possible. You don't need to use the super sharp one. You just need to be able to force it in some way. Uh, but what I found was using the hex heads. Uh, as you can see here, there's a 2.5, uh, 2.5, and the three. Uh, and then what I found was I used the three first. And then what I found was this actually fits into here perfectly. Uh, and then it pushed it sort of most of the way through. Uh, but it is a little bit tight because the collar itself uh, of this bit of metal sort of widens out slightly. So it was almost like it was pushing against into the metal. But using this against this, which was in here, you could push it almost like a third of the way through to about half the way through without sort of going overboard. And it's sort of stuck in itself because the wide section was sort of flanging out um, so that's this bit the initial bit and then what I did was I swapped to the the lower uh, oh sorry I got them mixed up here this is the free which I thought was a bit odd yes it goes sort of in but not all the way through as you can see not like that force it in the way through I've already removed these obviously and then the 2.5 did the rest of it uh, and what you did was you just pushed it with the screwdriver head on the screwdriver itself. After you did the initial push with this, uh, it gets the collar. So it's a forced the collar sort of to shrink in. It went in, out. You see, you'll see it sticking out a little bit using this. You stop that, use this, and then you just start off at the bottom from the edge. And you just pushed. A little bit more and it sprang out and then what I found the best technique was basically to leave it like this you didn't need to push very hard but you could just grab the camera by itself and then just slowly pushed it in you have to be very quite careful obviously that your hands are sort of in the right position to not scratch the camera up but I found this was actually quite an, an effective way to sort of push it in and obviously this will catch the collar or you can have it in obviously in the section where it won't sprang out because the first time I did it it sprang out and fell off the table uh, so I had to search for it uh, on all that's the very effective way I didn't obviously put any damage onto the camera itself uh, it just takes a little bit of care so 
same again onto this side. I sort of uh, forced it halfway through, gently, sort of into the sort of heart so it's sticking out. Used a smaller one, switched over, and then just gradually sort of pushed it in. I mean, because it's a collar, is uh, where it's going. The collar sort of has, has a sort of little join to it. It sort of, it shrinks in itself, and like I said it was a bit of, like a bit of spring steel or something like that. So it's, it's it there's enough of a gap to shrink in, and then push back out, uh, and that's why it basically took it out. So that's my method. Use the hex. 2.5 and the 3 you could probably use this without the actual screwdriver it's just obviously how strong your hands are and that way you could just use it to push halfway and then the next one push it in again but I found it easy to use the screwdriver sort of like that with the thinner one especially and then you can force it in and obviously hold your hands in such a way to sort of bridge the gap between not sort of scratching the camera up or any way uh, and that's how you got it out basically uh, so that's my method of getting rid of the eyelets or the colours uh, in the basically the X-T3 uh, I presume this might apply to some of their other cameras or very like X-T2 or anything or any cameras that they have which are similar in, in design uh, I'm not sure how other brands do this, but maybe if it's similar, it might be useful to, depending on how big the eyelet is, that you could switch up to obviously the big eyelets and so on and so forth. But I've chose obviously this method because it is the most rounded and least likely to scratch up your camera. You could probably protect it with a little bit of tape, I suppose, before you did it. Um, but I didn't take that precaution. I have fairly steady hands in doing this side of things, so. Thanks very much, uh, I hope you got something out of this video, and thanks very much, bye.